So the first thing is in Cartesian coordinate, a vector is represented as x, y, and z. In spherical coordinate, it is represented as rho, theta, and phi. But for representing the BRDF, we just need theta and phi. And now let's understand what is theta, phi, and rho. So here I have created an example for you so that we can understand spherical coordinates and 3D space and we can relate with our Cartesian coordinate system as well. So I have three arrows here representing one axis of three-dimensional space. So this is the z-axis in blue, this is the x-axis in red, and this is the y-axis in yellow. And that's the way these three axes are represented in most of the 3D softwares. And then we have a vector that is pointing at some direction in this 3D space. In Cartesian coordinate system, if we had to represent this vector, we would take the values of x, y, and z, and then we would represent this vector. But how we would represent this in spherical coordinate system is in two steps. First, we will take an angle from z-axis to this vector. So this is an angle from z-axis to this particular vector. And this angle will be represented by theta. And the step two will be if we have a plane on x, y axis, and we project this vector onto this plane. So this is the projection of this vector on x, y plane. The angle of this projection from positive x direction. So this is the projection of the vector onto x, y plane. And this phi is the angle from x to this projected vector. So that's how we get these two numbers which are phi and theta. So theta is the angle from the vector to the positive z-axis and phi is the angle from the projected vector onto y-x plane from the positive x-axis. And this phi is also called as azimuthal angle. And that's how we get the phi and the theta from this vector. There are formulas that can transform spherical coordinates to the Cartesian coordinate or vice versa. So the representation of BRDF will be theta i comma phi i, which is a representation of incoming light direction. And then theta o comma phi o and theta o and the phi o are the outgoing direction. And rho, which we don't need here, is the magnitude of the vector. Theta is the angle from positive z-axis, and phi is the angle between positive x-axis and the projection of this vector on y-x plane. So that is how we represent BRDF. So BRDF is also based on two physical laws. One is the reciprocity, which means if this is the incoming direction and this is the outgoing direction, if the direction of incident light and the reflected light are swapped, that means if this becomes outgoing direction and this becomes incoming direction, the BRDF remains unchanged and another law is conservation of energy which means the quantity of reflected light must be less than the quantity of incident light if this becomes higher then this surface becomes emitting surface instead of the reflecting surface now let's understand one last point about the BRDF, why there was a need of BRDF at the first place. Besides several applications and advantages of BRDF, one of the major advantage is that we can calculate the reflectance using a device of a physical material that will give us a number that will represent the reflectance of this material 
and using this number and BRDF function, we can mimic the surface in computer graphics. And that is what we try to achieve in physically based shading. Of